I think there are companies that are doing well in Nigeria. I don't know them, but I think from the work I, I've seen in Jaws, uh, most of the township roads, including the flyover we saw yesterday, I'm highly impressed by the quality. And uh, I'm also happy with the intervention because, you know, we, it's cooperative federalism. Uh, I'm impressed that the state government took up this road and worked on it and uh, got it commissioned. Uh, I'm sure the others will simply be the continued discussion between the federal government and Plato state government. Uh, if interventions can give this kind of quality work, uh, it will be very, very important. But I also know that the Federal Executive Council uh, will discuss conditions for state interventions, you remember, at the ESCO. And it is that uh, the federal government is not opposed to state intervening, but that uh, before you intervene, there is a need for some discussion to take place for the federal government to know the procedure uh, and also to be sure that uh, the quality of work when completed, both in terms of quality and cost, that uh, it will be at par with uh, uh, the BPP procedures, you know, for award of contracts. But definitely from the quality of this road, I am highly impressed. And I've seen all the other roads constructed in Jaws by the Jiang administration and the road uh, leading from Vom to Manchok, also by PW, I am highly very impressed with this company. Uh, honestly, if all contractors perform like this and give us uh, quality jobs which will last for decades, then we will know that we are on. This is uh, real quality for money. I'm happy with this job. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, we will be driving on the road so you will see it up to Haipang before we reach uh, Barkeladi. daughter of the land, uh, Mrs. Sarah Rengo Chepe, the coordinating uh, commissioner from the Plateau State Government, the commissioner for information, Yeljab Abraham, uh, many, the chairman of Barakil Local Government. Uh, I beg to lean on existing protocol. Uh, sir, you are in Barakil town. And uh, again, we are showcasing one of the Jonah Jang administration uh, laudable achievements uh, in fulfillment of the nine point agenda of uh, the 10 point agenda of this administration, uh, which is good urban governance. The governor is doing five kilometers of road network in each local government headquarter, and you are in Barkiladi headquarter where the five kilometer road network has been completed and uh, this is the road which you are standing on it spreads across all the town and even areas where new developments are expected the road leads up to those areas it's a five kilometer asphalt road with drainages on both sides as you can see and uh, it's going for a cheap sum of about 383 million it has been completed and uh, this road was commissioned by the president. Thank you very much. You are welcome to Barkin Ladies, sir. Well, sir, the minister, this, this, this road is, was built by the state government and actually it's a viable road. As you can see, this road has brought a lot of development in this local government. Um, it was solely done by the state government. And with the local government, we also have one of the roads we constructed. Just behind here, we also have a one kilometer road. And actually, uh, the development cannot be over-emphasized because of the road we are having presently. 
it has also been to find the town here. We are very much grateful to the state government what is doing. Uh, the dividends of democracy being uh, gotten from the state government is something very, very laudable indeed. Emmanuel Dachalom is my name, sir. The Honourable Commissioner, our Minister of Information and Team Leader of the National Good Governance uh, Tour Team across the country. I want to, on behalf of the good people of Barkinladi Local Government, the Chairman, the Gomre of Barkinladi, the stakeholders that are here, I want to happy American Ladi local government. This is my local government. And uh, to say we are happy that uh, the team is visiting Barkin Ladi. And you can see that democracy is working in Barkin Ladi. The evidence is here with uh, this road that we are standing on. There are many other projects that have been constructed in different parts of this local government by the Jiang administration and also by the local government council itself. Uh, These uh, projects include um, market stalls, it includes health facilities, uh, schools, um, rural routes and things like that. And I also want to say that democracy is very strong here in this local government and that is why you've seen that all the stakeholders of the uh, local government have turned up to welcome uh, the minister and his entourage to this local government. This is one local government that is solidly PDP, and we walk and speak with one voice, and whatever we decide to do to advance democracy, we do that without uh, any ranko. And I'm happy to present a brand new honorable member of the Plateau State House of Assembly who recently won the by election into the Plateau House of Assembly. Honorable Ugo Aneng Yang Fulani. Any questions from uh, reporters? Yes. Once again, sir, my name is Dennis Emmanuel. I think. Uh, we have seen a lot of projects, and all the projects we have seen, equality is not is something to really boast about. I think we should nickname this governor Baba Quality. <laughs> I think this governor's name should be Baba Quality. I want to commend him for this good work. Thank you. Local governments? 17. We have 17 local governments and each of them has this five kilometer going on, plus one kilometer run by each local government. It's a matter of policy of this government. The five kilometer is sponsored solely by the state government. And uh, there is an extra one kilometer which is done by the local government, making a total of six kilometer of road network in each local government headquarter of the 17 local government. Solomon. Yes, sir. The local control. Um, it's one state in which the governor, the governor has not at all dipped his fingers into the funds that are kept for the local governments for the federation account. This is one governor that has stayed away. He has not withheld their funds. He has been giving them their funds. He has not been directing and insisting on what should be done with these funds, but he has been insisting that there should be accountability and transparency and services delivered to the people of the local government. And even when the Paris Debt Club refunds came in, uh, he had put aside over 7 billion naira, which he released to the local governments for various developments. So local governments in Plata State should not have any excuse for not performing. How 
are you able to do it with the little funds you have? Because a lot of uh, the places that we go around the country, they complain, no funds, no funds, no funds. How are you able to do it with the little, so that we can all learn from it? I think tomorrow. <laughs> uh, now you said that the uh, uh, governor has not got your local government fund. So these projects, this five kilometer road network in every local government, is it from the state post? It is, it is 100% sponsored by the state government. Local governments, one era is not inclusive. It is a 100% uh, state government funds. Honestly, we want to really appreciate God, appreciate the governor, appreciate all of you that have come to see what our governor is doing. We want to thank you so much and also thank our mother, the minister that has been standing for us. We also want to thank God for giving us another great leader, our mother, Ngo Kenang. Hey, 35%. Thank you so much. Our chairman, who is solidly behind us, we say thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless all of you. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, chairman. On this note, we depart, chairman. Okay, you are a very lucky guy. No, you are to focus The project here, I mean, the equipment here is for eight works. We brought the equipment here for this specific uh, work. The other project are at the site. At the site here. Yeah. Um, what is going on here? What is going on here? What do I do in you? I do in network to feel the apartment or the street. Mm. I have no other work, like uh, asphalt and the rest. Yeah, yeah. I think kilometers. We would like to know the how much has been paid to them. Have they done the work? Well, the, the value of the contract is uh, 5 billion, a little over 5 billion. The certified work is over 2.8 uh, billion. The contractor has been mobilized to the tune of 1.2 billion, out of which 
only 80 percent, only 80 million is amortized, which means we still have an outstanding 1 billion, 1.2 billion to recover from the contractor, which is very, very serious. We have engaged him. We are also talking with his bankers. And like I assure you, we are determined to recover all that is outstanding, and we are determined to deliver on this road. Please, any comment or question, sir? Question. I'm tell you that uh, your visit here today is more than a hundred petitions we would have written to Abuja, because you have come to see for yourself what actually is happening about this project. Just like the minister has said, this project is very, very important. It links not only Plateau State, but the whole of North Central and North East to Abuja. It would be a wonderful alternative for people to go to Abuja through this road. And we have a lot of, like somebody would say, real uh, farm produce here that we want to take them out for other people to benefit from. And this project has been lingering for all these years. It is not good. It is only unfortunate that as leaders, we have been trying to dissuade our people from reacting badly to this contractor. If not, they would have done uh, a bad thing. So we are happy that you're here today, and we are happy to tell the world that uh, what the Minister of Work said, uh, they are going to do something about it. We are praying and waiting to see uh, that this contractor uh, is uh, handled appropriately and the contract is given to uh, a most uh, appropriate person. Thank you very much. This is the yearning of the people of Bokos. And I want to tell you that the people of Bokos and the people of Plateau State and Mangu local government, because this project benefits Mangu, Bokos and part of Nasarawa State, will today believe in the saying that this government wants to transform this country and uh, this is the beginning and also the governor's stand to also move the state forward is now seen by the people of Bokos. you've all said it you've all seen it and uh, i want to assure you that the people of this area as they have always believed in this government will continue to believe and will agree that this transformation is real. The agenda of the state government is also real and will believe in this government. Uh, the, 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 the whole scenario has been so terrible. And just like the chairman said, this is unacceptable. This has put us in a very bad condition. And with what the ministers are here, and they've all said you are not all happy about it, the people are believing, and we are just sure that in the next two weeks, something positive will come to the people of this area. The government should consider setting up a failed contract commission. It is not sufficient, sir, to revoke failed contracts. It's very also important to consider prosecuting contractors that have refused to perform. Refusing to perform according to specification is a criminal act, and government should take decisive steps to punish people so that this thing should serve as deterrent. And these are things that the Minister of Information has been telling our colleagues, that perhaps we are failing our responsibilities of engaging in developmental journalism. We should have uh, exposed such acts long before now. But we thank God for the opportunity of the good governance tour to see some of these things ourselves. It's important, sir, that we really uh, do something and very quickly so. Thank you. Emmanuel from Civil Society. Honorable Minister, the fact that you insisted that we should come down here to say these things has shown and proven to us that actually the government's intention is to transform Nigeria. You could have simply stopped us up there and said, okay, let's turn back. And none of us would have had the opportunity to see what we have seen here. What we have seen here does not deserve commendation. Civil society, we are the conscience of the people. This project is meant to serve, serve Nigerians. This project is meant to promote the lives of people. And what we have seen here today is totally unacceptable. This project. Okay.
encourage the Minister of State for Works to walk the talk. It's not enough to just tell us that you're revoking this contract, you're going to recover some money. Contractors like this should totally be blacklisted. Because we know tomorrow we may eventually meet them again on Contractors like this should be blacklisted. Well, just to say that uh, on behalf of the people of Plateau, and particularly the communities that are the immediate beneficiaries of this project, that she are totally and absolutely disappointed. But we appreciate the commitment of uh, my colleagues in the Federal Ministry of uh, Works and also the Honorable Minister of uh, Information. I believe that something will be done. There are companies also that uh, the federal government at FEC are blacklisted, and I believe that this will not be an exception once we have the proper brief on what uh, they have been doing. And uh, let me, uh, first of all, uh, thank God that we arrived here safely. Um, but these are the things the good governance store is all about. A contractor collects money. Is keeping 1.2 billion, which he has not uh, recovered in terms of work done, and then the job is simply abandoned after seven years. I mean, five years, 2007, right? Five years, a job that's supposed to be delivered in two years, he has not worked. If he had worked and brought certificate to the ministry, and they are standing, then we will know that maybe uh, his payment is delayed. It's not a standing certificate, and the job done is far below the money he collected. And we are coming here on inspection of this project. He is not a site. What we see is a site engineer. The people who are in charge of the management of this job are not here. The people who are in charge of the company are not here. This is also disrespect uh, for the federal government because they are aware of this good governance tour. They, are, they made sure they were not a site so that we will not see. Then they went and tied something close to the main road there so that when you are passing the road, you will think that, ah, this man is doing well, oh, they have finished the job. They went and put some uh, as far as around the Boko's uh, local government headquarters there. And that's why even when we part, I say we must come here and see what is happening on this road. You know, this road links Plateau and Nasrama State. It's an alternative route because when the, you have any problem, like the one we had, the flooding in Lokoja, for example, mm. you could have alternative routes, yeah. you know, uh, to go to Abuja or go out of Abuja. And this is agricultural heartland of Nigeria, mm. right from here to Nasrawa State. It's also a, a tourist uh, haven. Mm. Right from here to Nasrawa, you go through the Ferirua Falls, yeah. the popular Ferirua Falls yeah. along this route, mm. you know, and then you move up, up to where Wamba and Akwanga local government. Yeah. Since 2007, this man continues to, you know, uh, play pranks with the Federal Ministry of Works. Well, the minister has said it all. I don't want to repeat anything. You know, I believe that if people fail to do their job, and they have no justifiable reasons, they should be punished. Mm. They should be punished. This is what we must do to keep this country moving. Yeah. You can't collect public money, you refuse to work, year in, year out. It's not fair. Then you say that uh, Nigeria is not working. How would Nigeria work when people don't honestly do what they have been asked to do and they have been paid to do? Nigeria can't work until people take their job seriously. I'm happy with the comments that have been made here and the assurance of the Honorable Minister uh, uh, Ambassador Yuguda, concerning the steps that the Federal Minister of Works is intending to do in relation to this particular project. We saw some other projects like this in the University of Jos yesterday, where people collected money and they are not doing the job. Some tertiary education trust fund contractors there have also disappointed. We also saw the disappointment at the uh, uh, Centers of Excellence that is funded by the Central Bank of Nigeria at the University of Jos. Those contractors are not working. They have collected monies. They are not saying that the government is owing them anything. It's just that they don't want to do the work. Meanwhile, the money has been paid. So I believe that these incidences like this is why we are out on good governance tour. Like a good project we saw today, we congratulated you on the VOM Manchok Road because PW delivered yes. and delivered a solid world-class road. Hmm. Those are the companies that should be patronized, not people who have no evidence of capacity to do anything. Mm. So I think, honestly, we will continue to go around the country and see if there are examples like this 
we will point them out. That is the reason why we are out. And if there are good examples, like we saw Manchok um, Form Road, which has been delivered by the federal government, we will also begin to you know, uh, amplify those ones. So this is, this is what it is. And journalists who are just locked up in Abuja were not prepared to you know, report anything unless uh, uh, PDP, CPC, or <laughs> you know, I think we should discuss development. That is why we are at this point. Please, thank you very much indeed. Yeah.